Could artificial intelligence be the game changer in healthcare we've all been waiting for? It's a question that has piqued the curiosity of many, from medical professionals to technologists and even policymakers. Today, we turn our focus to the Biden-Harris administration and their approach to this very topic. The year 2023 marked a significant stride in the administration's approach to AI in healthcare. In May, they updated the U.S. national AI strategy, emphasizing a principled and coordinated approach to international collaboration in AI research. The administration showed a commitment to ethical and responsible development, seeking to understand AI's potential in various sectors, including healthcare. The administration also called for public input, engaging various economic sectors to gather insights and experiences. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates and discussions on all things simulation and healthcare education. A White House blog post from earlier today is also linked in the description. Fast forward to November, President Biden issued an executive order on AI safety and security, privacy, equity, and innovation. This order included four directives impacting healthcare. Firstly, it called for the creation of an AI task force within the Department of Health and Human Services. Secondly, it emphasized the need to integrate equity principles in AI-enabled technologies. Thirdly, it mandated the development of safety and security standards. Lastly, it called for the development and oversight of AI-enabled technologies in healthcare delivery. Just this month, the White House announced voluntary commitments from leading healthcare providers and payers to ensure the safe and responsible use of artificial intelligence in healthcare. These commitments align with the principles of fairness, appropriateness, validity, effectiveness, and safety, collectively known as FAVES. These commitments are seen as a critical step in advancing AI for the health and well-being of Americans. They include informing users when content is largely AI-generated, monitoring and addressing potential harms caused by AI applications, and developing AI solutions that advance health equity and improve patient experiences. Improvements in AI for better patient care outcomes supported by the White House would significantly impact medical education in several ways. Firstly, such backing indicates a national commitment to advancing healthcare technology, encouraging medical schools to integrate cutting-edge AI tools into their curricula. This integration would prepare future healthcare professionals to leverage AI effectively in their practice. Additionally, increased government support often translates to greater funding and resources for research and development in AI-driven healthcare. This could foster partnerships between academia and industry, providing students with opportunities for hands-on experience to state-of-the-art AI technologies. Comment below with changes in education you are most excited about from improvements in AI. Moreover, federal endorsement can lead to the, the establishment of standards, guidelines, and regulatory frameworks for AI in healthcare, ensuring that medical education aligns with evolving best practices and ethical considerations in this rapidly advancing field. Ultimately, White House support for AI in healthcare could catalyze a comprehensive transformation in medical education, nurturing a workforce equipped with the knowledge and skills needed to harness AI for optimal patient care. The Biden-Harris administration recognizes the potential of AI to improve healthcare outcomes, but emphasizes the need for proper testing, risk mitigation, and oversight to address potential errors, biases, and privacy risks. AI has the potential to benefit patients, doctors, and hospital staff by improving diagnosis, streamlining drug development, and reducing clinician burnout. To summarize, the Biden-Harris administration has shown a strong commitment to harnessing the potential of AI in healthcare. They have updated the national AI strategy, issued an executive order focusing on AI safety and security, and encouraged voluntary commitments from healthcare providers. They recognize the potential of AI, but also understand the need for proper testing, risk mitigation, and human oversight to ensure its safe and responsible use. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how these commitments and directives shape the future of AI in healthcare. Thank you for subscribing and check out this video that the YouTube AI thinks you should watch.